good day. My name is Alex Tursky. I'm from Easy Travel. And today I have arrived to the small museum in the city of Deventer in the middle of the Netherlands. This museum has a temporary exhibition dedicated to the works of art which were confiscated by Germans during the Second World War and then returned to their original owners. So it's a story not only about paintings but also about what happened to them during the World War II. The particular reason for me coming here today is that our statistics clearly demonstrated that the rate of usage of our audio guide is in this museum is much higher than the average we have in other museums around the globe. In order to understand the reasons for such high usage, I would like to talk to the managers of this exhibition. And by the way, they are standing there. Let's talk to them. Uh, we are in the city of Deventer. And why I'm here, it's because we discovered through our statistics that a small exhibition here outperformed in the amount of usage the biggest museums we had so far, like Treaty of Gallery in Moscow and some other museums. And there is some miracle here, so a small museum started to use audio guide much more than any other uh, places. So I came here to ask what, what happened. Well, could you please introduce yourself? Okay, <laughs> my name is Eva Kleeman. Um, my name is Dag Dedeboer. Well, the, the, the miracle is very simple. Uh, what we do is we have a host. So when somebody enters the, the museum, the church where we're in, there, um, uh, um, there's someone asking them, do you have your own phone? Uh, if not, do you want to use ours? Uh, we have a, a, have, a, have a travel guide, and, a, uh, and, and this, this guide this, 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 uh, is very easy to uh, install. There is an installation manual, which everybody can do it themselves, but they're helped. There's simply people helping them. So, the, the, the so all your stuff, uh, all people are, are trained, are to, trained to, 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 train to, to help. Exactly. So that have, and it's not, it's not only the, the, the hostesses and, and people around uh, behind the counter, but also the, 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 the surveillance staff. The security guys, uh, everybody knows how it works, and they're trained to help. Okay. And anything else? Do you have uh, posters? I mean, any promotional materials? Uh, we how, have. How, how people learn about it? Only well, we stuff? put it on our website, and we promote it on Facebook. We say, uh, listen, uh, come and uh, enjoy uh, our exhibition, and there's a free uh, audio guide which you can get from our website. Uh, Ahead. So we use Facebook, for instance, and, and Twitter, uh, social media, to promote it. We put it on our website, and uh, this seems to work. You also tell people, if you haven't had time to listen to the audio tour, go home and listen to it on the website. Okay, and as a painting, so I don't see actually any indication that this painting has audio guide. Do you have it around? So if I can, can I learn about audio guide if I stand in front of the painting? The, the thing is, the... the, 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 the you have to simply swipe through your guide and you recognize the paintings. It's not an immensely huge exhibition, but we divided the, the rooms we created with several, uh, separate kind of uh, uh, collections. So if you're not dis disorientated and you want to know where you are, you go simply go to the, to the room indicated above the, the doors, go there and then you find within five or ten swipes you find the, 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 the painting, but all paintings are in. There's not, there's not, not a work not included in the, in the other top. And, we and the routing of the exhibition is so simple that it's, if you follow the routing, you follow the audio tour as well. So it's very self-explanatory. Okay, so actually there is no any miracle solution, you simply made all the steps and actually probably the staff, the trained staff is quite uh, That's very important. challenging yes. and I see that a lot of museums don't do it, but it seems that probably in your case it was mm -hmm. one of the major components. I think so, um, because the person behind the, uh, uh, the cash register knows how to help. The, uh, the, the people who are security guys, they can help if necessary. Um, it's such a small museum that we tend to walk around a lot. We'll help, no problem. But the thing is, much more basically, basic in, in, in essence, we start to train our guides, people, all over, on basis of the Easy Travel app. The, 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 the publication was not there the, yet, but the, the app was there all the time. We worked, it was an ongoing process, the app was always there. So when we started half a year, a year ago, started training our uh, volunteers and uh, guides. And tour guides. We, we did it on basis of the yeah. of the app, on on a computer screen. Yeah. And so, 
all these people are basically uh, grown up in their thinking process with the app. So for them, it's the first step of explaining the work to somebody else. Yeah, we're basically so using it as they, a... they became part of your normal job, so yeah. Yeah, it's just part of the preparation. Yeah, yeah. And we're using it as a, like, like a, a, a platform that we share knowledge with our direct, with our employees with. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I see. And, 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 the, and the other way around is, it, is if you go to the, the, the homepage of our website on the exhibition, there are two, two major clicks which are stand out, immediately stand out from all the other clicks which say something about opening hours and things like that. There's one is where to buy tickets and the other one is where's, where's, where's the app. Yeah, it's also important. But it seems to me from this interview that the most important was that it became part of your organization. Yes. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's, uh, it became it's a part. natural part of museum. Yes. We have to tell stories, not yeah. just a project, but uh, you know, yeah. part of it, 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 it has to do with our uh, motivation to make this exhibition, to, uh, to bring across the story of looted art. We were, basically, we were looking for ways to tell the story, and this was one of the uh, better ways. We, we, of course, have a catalog, we have texts on the uh, near the, the, the paintings. Uh, could you very briefly uh, provide information what, what the exhibition is about? I mean, what's the essence of it? It's a story of uh, the Jewish owners of, uh, of paintings, mostly, but other artworks as well, who uh, sometimes they were private collectors, sometimes they were art dealers, mm -hmm. who were robbed of their, uh, of their possessions, and sometimes, of course, much worse than that. And then, especially what happened after the works were brought back by the uh, Allies, um, how did the Dutch state uh, handle itself when they were faced with claims from survivors? And it's not always a good story. It's, uh, there's a lot to be said about this restitution policy. And it, it, it changed in the 90s. It was completely changed, became much more humane. But there's some uh, criticism on uh, Dutch I, side I, I, here. I, I can imagine. So yeah. actually, it's not only it's not like typical museum when you have a painting and the story of the painting itself. It's also a story what happened during the World War II. It's II. mostly yeah. that story. Uh, actually, it's, it's a storytelling yeah. exhibition. Yeah. And the thing is, we uh, borrow works from state collection, which where the, the paintings are hit basically for 70 years. Uh, from museums that have them on loan, but also from pri uh, pri uh, private individuals who gave them back, uh, uh, got them back, but gave them up for the exhibition to, on show. And the thing is that basically these works, in, in art historical sense, have nothing to do with each other. Mm. It's 17th century work, 18th century work, there are landscapes, uh, hunting scenes, they're nothing interrelated between the works. It's not that you have two remnants. In, in connection to each other. What, what realism, uh, it's the story. The, is the story what happened with them and yeah. how so they... Just yeah, so, so there's this, the story we're telling is really a historical story containing stories of individuals and their mostly tragic histories. Well, okay, uh, then probably that's it. And uh, I'm really grateful to you. We are going to spread the story through our con other content providers so that they learn how it works. And the most important message that it's no miracle here. It's just about doing all things right and about incorporating the storytelling into the fabric of the organization. So yes, when the whole exactly. thing wants it, it, it happens. Yeah. So that's our work. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's really Thank great exhibition and great success. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's try to sum it up. The success of use of audio guide in this particular museum has a very simple explanation. The storytelling is in the center of the whole exhibition. They started from storytelling, from stories of the paintings of what happened with them. And the, from the very beginning, as I said, they created the audio guide and they use it to train their own staff. So all people who work in the museum, starting from those who sell tickets and to the guards and volunteers, they all know about it, they all know the stories, and they're very happy to promote this experience to the visitors of the museum. That's the essence of success. Of course, there is a lot of room for improvement. For example, they could use posters, they could use numbers at the painting with the symbols of the audio guide which will trigger the visitor. Oh, they have audio guide here. They also could use photo navigation. And let me rem remind you how it works. The visitor has uh, pictures of the holes with the uh, arrows where to go. And it's kind of combination of instructions where to go and the story. So visitor simply swipes them. 
the next stage is a city experience. Imagine a tourist who come to Amsterdam and then he is suggested by Amsterdam tourist authorities to go to the city of Deventer and experience the city in one day trip. With the audio guide you can visit the local farm, museums, the city, enjoy the architecture of the city, take a, take a bike or boat for rental and get guided tours together with them. We are going to implement this project and we will keep you posted. Alex Turski, Easy Travel, Deventer. Thank you very much.